Oh, I've got a bad leg. Right, let's go. What is up everyone? Fish Shop Matt here. So, you know, well, I don't know, you might all know, you might not. I've got a 300 litre cube that I'm gonna be setting up soon, fingers crossed, when I get time. <laughs> um, and I needed a new heater for it. So I was looking around, I've tried loads of heaters over the years, so I didn't want anything that I had tried before. So I was looking who had new heaters out. Um, and luckily, Fluval had a new heater out that I hadn't ever tried. So I ordered two. Ordered one for up my upstairs quarantine tank, um, which is like a little, I don't know, 30 litre. Ordered one for the cube tank that's that way, um, which is a big, like, 300 litre cube. And those heaters from Fluval are the T-Series. Dun, dun, dun. Um, ooh, blurry. There we go. Nothing too exciting, really. They are still a glass heater, so, uh, you know, I, I wasn't overly sort of... Um, excited this video probably wasn't going to happen to be honest it, it it wasn't something that I thought of but it raised an interesting thought when I saw how they worked which I'll get to in a minute does come with a two plus one year guarantee um, which is good you know three year guarantee on a heater is fairly decent that plus one year you probably have to register it or go online and fill out a form or something along those lines but yeah three year guarantee on a heater is really really decent does come in five sizes, I believe. Four sizes. It was on the box somewhere. There you go. Five sizes. Uh, or not. There, like that. <laughs> a 50, a 100, a 150, and a 200, and a 300. A 50, a 100, a 150, a 200, and a 300. There you go. Each one of those, the wattages relates to the size of volume of water it will do in litres. So a 300 is going to do a 300, a 50 is going to do 50 litres. Sorry if this seems a little bit disjointed, if the lights have changed on the tank. Essentially this bit of footage was missing when I went to edit, so don't know where it went. But I wanted to say that not all the heaters on the market are created the same. Yes, I say that they are all a glass heater, but they can be different. With the T-Series heaters from Fluval, they have actually got digital sensors inside them that should in theory mean that the temperature of your aquarium stays more stable. You should definitely get less fluctuations. A lot of the cheaper heaters on the market are actually created with biometallic strips inside them. They don't tend to be as accurate and they tend to fail a little bit more. So the T-Series should in theory give you a lot more sort of peace of mind with the safety and the heating on your aquarium. But the two main things that set it apart from any other heater is, well, I say any other heater. One is if you take the heater out of the water or you drain your tank down, the heater switches itself off, which is out there on other models. Um, I have used heaters before with that function on them. I've never really found them that good. This one seems to work very well. I've had them in the past where they've got probes on them and all that sort of stuff and the probe gets algae on it and then when you take it out of the water it doesn't switch itself off because the probe still thinks it's in water. The other thing that it's got is a 24-7 light that stays on which when I show you I'll show you what I mean. Now I thought that was stupid but actually it's really clever. Um, but we'll get to that when I show you the heater running. I'm just going to chuck it in this tank for the minute just to show you what's going on because the 300 litre cube is not got any water in it at the moment and probably won't because the filter is still running on here for that tank, ready matured. But again, time, effort, you know, trips to Holland, um, yeah, all of that sort of stuff. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open this one up and show you. Um, I'll probably pop it on the counter and show you through properly. That's it, instruction manual's in there. Nothing else really too exciting. That's your heater. Like I say, standard glass heater, just with a few added bonuses. Now, like I say, it's got that nice heater guard on the end of it there. Um, I wouldn't recommend hitting your heater on anything really, but yeah, that comes off so you can clean it. Standard glass heater in the middle, some decent suction cups on it. Oh, and a decent clip as well. Let's see how good... <laughs> yeah, they're really good suction cups to be fair. I like a good suction cup. You don't... The cheaper ones, they always fall apart and then your heater ends up like dangling in the water. I hate that when that happens. Um, yeah, minimum water line, I guess, on there. Yeah, so that's your minimum water line. Somewhere in this head is where the magic happens with the water or with the auto shut off. So I don't know how it works, but yeah, the magic happens somewhere there. When you take it out of the water, it stops itself. 
Obviously, your LED indicator light is just around this clear bit of plastic. That's your dial, so that turns it up and down, like so. Um, I don't know if you can see the numbers, it will focus on them. There you go. So you can see all the numbers. Oh, that's upside down. You can see all the numbers on there, everything from 22 up to 32, which is nice. And um, I think, yeah, a decent... Oh, yeah, a decent amount of cable as well. So, you know, we'll fit most aquariums and, you know, even if it's a bit taller, you should be able to get down to your plug socket. Yeah, nice, simple aquarium heater, but with added extras. Right, so here we go. So I've got it up in this corner. This is the rare Tetra tank that it's running on. Looking really good. It's got less rare because uh, I shut down my, or one of my tanks, and I had a load of cardinals. So... It's less rare now because there is a group of cardinals swimming in here, but they still work. So, bottom of the heater, beautiful fluval branding, but that's the little stopper, so that stops anything from sort of hitting the bottom and breaking it. Like I say, standard glass heater, nothing too exciting in the middle, rubber suction cups there and there. Again, nothing really exciting, standard heater. That's where the magic happens. Right, so I've turned it up just to uh, show you what the red light looks like. But normally, as soon as you raise this up out of the water like so, it switches itself off. Put it back in, get the suction cup caught. As soon as you get it back under that water, it turns itself on. Like, it's probably the most functional one that I've ever had. Off. On. Fantastic. So yeah, the on and off auto switch works really, really well. I don't know how it works, I've not even looked into it. All I know is I've tried it a few times now, tested it a few times on the upstairs tank and tested it on this one, and it works tremendously. Uh, irritatingly, I've just realized if I turn the lights off behind me, the uh, reflection is so much better. Or, no, so much less. <laughs> so yeah, now you can see the heater in all its glory. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, like I say, the uh, the on-off suite, on off function works really really well now um if i oh oh dear pardon me um if i what was i going to talk about oh the lights okay cool so red light when it is heating perfect that makes sense all other heaters are like that the red light turns on when it's heating up the water fine but if i turn it down i'm hoping there we go so that's turned it down to obviously its lowest temperature now and it's gone blue now I thought this was weird, but actually that blue light stays on all the time. Which I thought was a ridiculous thing. But let me tell you why now I'm actually quite impressed by this little blue light. Now I was sort of wondering why on earth that blue light stayed on all the time. So it annoyed me a little bit if I'm honest. I walked into uh, where my little quarantine tank is and there was this blue light sort of like lightly glowing in the corner and I was like why is that still on and then I thought actually I don't know if the good majority of my other glass heaters like this are working most of the time the only time I know if they're working is if that orange light blinks on then I know it's working if that orange light hasn't come on and I'm not there when the orange light has come on I don't actually know if that heat has just broken and isn't turning on. Obviously you should have a thermometer on the tank so that you can read your temperature, but how many times do you miss it? How many times do you just take for granted that your heater is working? Whereas this one, because it's got that blue indicator light on it, if that blue indicator light isn't there, you know that heater isn't on. You know that's not working. You know you've forgotten to turn it on after a water change, or you know that something's gone wrong with it. Whereas like I say, every other heater on the market... Whoa, oh, no, hang on. Let's not say any other heater, because I know there are some digital ones out there. I know there's some super expensive ones out there. There are others out there that do this. And I know Fluval used to have E-series heaters. I think they still do them. They still do them now. But they had a digital readout on the front of them. But once you hide it around the back, you can't really see the digital readout that easily. Whereas this one, you just see a faint glow coming from behind your plants or your hardscape. And you can check it's running. So... A really simple, really easy and effective solution, I suppose, to knowing that your heater is working. There you go. Nothing too long, nothing too big, nothing too tremendous on this video. I just wanted to talk about this heater because it wasn't...
I suppose it wasn't an issue that I thought was an issue. <laughs> um, you know, everyone has these heaters, the orange light turns on when it heats up. But actually, until I had this one running and the blue light stays on all the time when, you know, when it's working, I didn't really, it didn't really occur to me. It was brilliant. Genius. Like I said earlier, I know there's ones out there with digital readouts. I know there's um, those ones that you can plug in with an external readout and blah, 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 blah. But most of those aren't easily accessible to the majority of the hobby. These are simple. They're simple enough that they... I suppose they're simple enough that they're like the old heaters. The only real thing is that they've changed the light function on them so that it tells you. So I think it's more accessible to the hobby. You know, everyone's used to that glass heater. This has just got a fancy light on it to tell you when it's working and also won't blow up if you forget to turn it off when you're doing your water change. Yeah, I probably shouldn't talk about heat as much more. You know, you've already watched however many minutes of this of uh, this heater. But yeah, five sizes, three year guarantee, safety shut off, blue or red indicator light, whether it's working or not. Nice, good heater. If you want one, they are well worth a look.